the next icon which we can do is this camera icon so paste our shape move it next to the camera icon change the fill to gradient fill select the first gradient stop make it light gray just like this select the second gradient stop and make it a darker gray maybe even a little bit more and you can see that there is a tint of the blue in this color so maybe we can adjust this color a little bit move this a little bit up like this so it's more of the blue in the shadows okay this is fine for now so we'll move it away and insert new text box make it no outline no fill adjust text box properties to have merges set to zero and we will insert a new symbol from our CUI UI symbol font which will be this camera symbol make it bigger to like 60 points or so you can see that the shape is quite similar the only difference is this fill because the camera on the icon has this gradient from the dark gray to almost black so we can change the text fill to gradient fill and set it from the dark gray like this to black one now you can also see that there is an inner shadow effect in this camera icon so we can add the inner shadow maybe making a little bit smaller distance to maybe just two points blur maybe only three points and move it away like this now you can see that this middle ring is quite bold compared to this one and we can fix it by adding an outline to our shape or our symbol if we set the text outline to gradient line and choose the very same gradient that is from the dark gray to black we just have it in the reverse direction you can see that the middle ring is much thinner now the last thing which we can do is are those two lines and we will use the similar method as we have used previously for the FaceTime that is we will draw a new shape which will go all the way up from the up to the bottom of the icon so we can use the same gradient fill as it is used for the background shape so insert shapes freeform start drawing about here choose where the line will begin for example here now draw with the shift key pressed so it's straight line choose the second line position which is probably here draw with the shift key and continue to the bottom of the icon and uh, end this shape by pressing the enter key if we use the same gradient fill as it is used for the background you will see that it will form a nice gap in the camera icon so we set this first gradient stop to this light gray and the second to our adjusted color so we have those two lines and maybe we can also add this yellow LED icon so we will insert new ellipse pretty small set the line to no line and fill color to some orange one we can maybe add the drop shadow effect make it smaller like this and I think that this looks just fine so we just need to select everything group it together rename it to camera icon and move it to the first page